Uh, welcome guys to another Substance and tutorial. Today we're gonna see how to create uh, this brown tile uh, for use in game engine. It's, it's very easy to create. Uh, so let's get started. First, uh, here we have the graph. It's very easy. We're gonna start with a shape node in a square mode, size 0 0.97. Then apply a bevel node, distance 0 0.02, normal intensity 10, normal format OpenGL in my case. Then apply a tile generator, this is number uh, 6 uh, in both X, in both uh, sides number 6 of tile, uh, scale variation 0 0.01 and we're gonna put a free run rotation random is 0 0.5 to give this uh, variation of tiles as you see here it's not a strike it's little rotation and that is all and we apply this to a normal and this is will be our normal channel then we're gonna create the dust we have a gradient linear one apply a levels to get rid of, of the darkness uh, zone apply uh, a copy of this tile generator you just control D to duplicate apply it and input the gradient here and here you only have to change this King Cook's flip King Cook's flip to true because it, by default is false and we the default give you this this uh, the pattern you apply it true and you have this this allows us to put this uh, dust uh, dirt in the in the edges and the corners then apply an emblem occlusion uh, spreading 0 0.15 then a level snow to get rid of a little more of the dark areas and bring a, a, a dust uh, node you just search here dust and you use this 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 node drag and apply and here you input the workspace normal in this case we're gonna use this normal we have here and the levels in uh, number occlusion you have the last levels here and we have this mask and this mask allow us to put some color uh, the color you have a gradient gradient editor I choose this uh, variation of brown you can uh, uh, put more different uh, colors remember uh, less colors allow us to give some more control I'm blending with this stripe color uh, brown blending in multiply the opacity is this is this dust mask and you will have this uh, texture then you grab a fractal zoom node a input in another gradient map uh, the same with a variation of browns then an H uh, else L Hue saturation likeness node uh, put down the likeness to more uh, darkness and this blending with this uh, before known blending here and the opacity you grab this this is for the for the background color here then uh, I will grab another gradient map 
input the fractal zoom, fractal zoom here, another variation of, of brown, and I set the opacity this mask to here. And you have this uh, texture. This is the final albedo, as you see. This is for the for the dust over the tiles. And then we're gonna create the rawness. The rawness grab this dust node, input in inverse grayscale, then a levels node to have uh, these dark areas and the tile is more gray. Inverse grayscale, you have this pattern, and we're gonna blend with this fractal zoom, apply an in inverse grayscale. I'm blending in max lighting, opacity 0 0.26 uh, in max lighting blown mode. And this is the, the rawness. As you see, the dark areas is more shiny and the areas with dust is more rawness. You have the tile is more bright, you just have to switch here. This is more rawness, and this is more brightness, the tiles. As you see here is... Here uh, has we read it up. And for metallic is a, a, a strike black color, because this is not metallic. I hope you like this video, it's very easy to, to create. If you have any question or comments, please leave in the comments below and see you in the next time. Please comment, share and subscribe.